Hey everyone, I'm Paul Lissy. I'm the author of The Way of Awareness. I do write and speak on spirituality, consciousness growth and other related topics. And today we have once again a Q&A. I'm going to read it now for you. Before delving into that, actually I always forget, if you're into these topics and you want to hear more about me, my two cents on related topics, conversations, and perhaps even random questions about spirituality, you can subscribe here below. So now, yes, today's question says, does everyone feel the chaotic energy of the world? Right now, I honestly feel like the world is on the brink of absolute chaos with the events that have been happening. Within either your personal life or others, have you noticed this pattern recently? Okay, we can, um, let's say, jump into this question or its answer in, in different ways. But what I'm going to say next, <clears throat> it does not mean that it is uh, the actual response to this question, but this is something very real. Uh, it's something that happens and it is something that if you are walking the spiritual path, if you are working on yourself, on spiritual introspection, there are always some sort of skills that you can develop, some sort of heightened sensitivity, if you will, which I refer to as, in my book, as the field of awareness. It is not actually a literal field around yourself, much like your aura, but it's like a transcendent field that lets you perceive things that you could not perceive otherwise with your limited five senses. So there are uh, larger scale consciousness forms, which I also talk about them in my book. Um, there are many other old books that speak about these uh, collective consciousness forms or collective energy forms that are uh, referred to as uh, egregores, which they actually form themselves out of a synchronized frequency or a synchronized energy of a given amount of people or a given amount of individual consciousness focusing on the same thought, on the same idea, on the same emotion, if you will. And out of that, out of a universal rule that I like to refer to as the law of squares, that when an intention uh, individual intentions of the same frequency uh, compound together, they are not just added like 2 plus 2 equals 4, but they are compounded. In this case, the number 2 example would not make much more sense, but you can see it with the number 3, where 3 plus 3 equals 6, but 3 squared actually equals uh, 9, right? So, this uh, exponential effect creates this larger consciousness form forms but the interesting thing here is that these uh, things these entities once they are formed they start acting much like they had their own identity and their own let's say freedom of movement so they can influence back the individuals that originally created them, for instance, to keep making those individuals feel those emotions that this larger form of consciousness or entity uses to feed itself so it can grow larger. So I hope you can grasp these dynamics, but when people pollute their minds by watching uh, negative news, violent news, and all these uh, entertainment outlets that just seed subconsciously in your mind uh, awful ideas, awful feelings, feelings that uh, you should be sad because the world is hectic and things like that. They start to create some sort of frequency in your state of being, in your state of mind, in your field of awareness, and suddenly you become much like a radio station that casts that frequency. But what happens if uh, thousands 
and millions of people within the same region, country, city, or whatever, uh, are unconscious enough and enough detached from the spiritual aspect and from spiritual work, when they pollute their minds and start casting this frequency at a larger scale, by the numbers, you have millions of people casting the same negative frequency, this energy or stale consciousness, if you will, conglomerate starts to form and then it starts to inflict change and inflict kind of like a leverage onto those individuals that formed it. So let's say that you're an enlightened person, but you are living in a society where this phenomenon is occurring. It is quite likely that you are able to perceive uh, this conglomerate trying to affect back the people that created it. Um, it happened to me uh, since this year began, since 2024 began, we've had here a change of presidency. Uh, things are, I don't know if they are going okay or not, but uh, changes are happening. Many people are having a super hard time where they basically have to decide uh, how, how many less times they are going to eat per week. Uh, how, I mean, basic things that they are start to, uh, to have to cut out from their daily uh, routine, their daily meals, their daily activities. It's getting pretty tough. I mean, there are some people that are not even uh, eating food at all. So, uh, in my own personal case, in my own personal economy, in my own personal life, I'm perfectly fine. I'm working on my spirituality. I have just uh, finished writing my, my book, which is uh, it's kind of like a dream to me, um, something very related to my purpose. I'm about to get married. Uh, my family is okay. My health is perfect. Uh, the health of my loved ones is perfect, everything is great. But one day I just woke up and I felt a little bit of concern. I feel some like a, a, a primal, a base layer of, of worriness, if you will, of worry. I felt worried and I didn't know why. And I sat for a while thinking, why am I carrying this? like this feeling, is it my feeling or is perhaps something I'm perceiving that is not mine, but it's like I mean it anyways. It's like it's surrounding me, it's trying to affect me. And after several sessions of meditation, contemplation and trying to shine the light of my consciousness and my awareness into this topic, I realized that not only that feeling was not coming from me, but it was just this a collective black cloud that is forming, at least in this city, in this country, in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, where I live, that uh, is formed and sustained and strengthened by the frequency of the individuals that just live caught up uh, with the news in negative uh, cycles of incessant thinking, of negative thinking. And here comes a point where you say, well, but if things are tough, people, I mean, it's okay that they are worried. But if you see it from an awareness uh, angle, and I do mention this on my book, it is one of the principles that it is super tough to understand that the world is a barren place, a barren canvas that only reflects your state within. If you cast the frequency and a state of being in your field of awareness of a loving and compassionate world, eventually that world will start manifesting around you. Perhaps not around other people. So with high levels of unconsciousness and people hooked on a negative news and negative media, negative and uh, ways of enter entertainment, this kind of like the Harry Potter Dementors they get created and they start haunting uh, in a parallelism all the people that are involved in that region. So that is why it's super important to work 
on your own way of awareness, on your spirituality. So you can actually stay aside from this phenomenon and actually help other people by shining the light of your consciousness so they can hopefully, hopefully awaken to this fact and start growing their consciousness. There is a point where if your consciousness is sufficiently present in this realm through your awareness, you can actually become aware of this yourself. No one has to be uh, telling you about this phenomenon. You will perceive it, you will transcend it and overcome it. So I hope this is clear enough. In this case, this person that said that uh, the chaotic energy of the world is not like the energy of the world per se. It's a global phenomenon uh, compounded on what I just said, like this larger consciousness entities of every single country compounding onto the other ones of the other country and suddenly you have like this a uh, consciousness conglomerate that represents the average state of mind and of being of the entire planet which is people being afraid because of the war because of the i don't know the u.s elections because of the uh, hunger in this country conflict in this other country so the minute you shift your perspective onto your own within and working your own way of awareness, it's like cutting out the fuel supply of this consciousness form, of this larger entity, if you will. And suddenly they will start to slowly perish until the new manifestation starts to become a reality. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe down below. Stay in touch with me through all my outlets. I have brand new socials at iampoldc.com slash links and see you the next one.